Eight-year-old female with past medical history of hypertension, CKD, presents for follow-up after treatment of acute gout flare-up. The patient has had three other similar events this year. On physical exam, the patient has nodular, painless, soft tissue masses on her MCP joints bilaterally. Her labs are as follows. Sodium is 135, potassium is 4, chloride is 105, bicarbs 27, creatinine is 2.1, uric acid 7.2, ESR is 35. In addition to lifestyle changes, which of the following is the most appropriate Welcome back to MedComplete Board Review. So the answer to the previous question that we posted about the patient who has recurrent gout attacks is C. Begin allopurinol and reduce the uric acid to less than 5. So as you can see, it's very important that we understand this. Um, this patient has an indication for uh, uric acid suppression therapy. So on the board and in real life, it's very important that we separate the acute flare-up from the uric acid suppression, the chronic care for these patients. So when is it important after that gout of the flare-up is gone, when is it important to begin allopurinol or any other uric acid suppression therapy? So we usually recommend it if the patient has more than two attacks per year. Okay, if they have evidence of TOFI as this patient does, this is what they're describing here, the nodular painless soft tissue masses. So these can be painless or can be painful depending on the situation. Um, we also recommend uric acid suppression if the patient has CKD, so a GFR less than 60, so this patient has CKD stage 3. We also recommend it if the patient has uric acid renal stones. So anybody who has uric acid renal stones, if you can suppress their uric acid, those stones are less likely to occur. And um, we always recommend it if the patient has a baseline uric acid level that's extremely high, so like more than 10 or more than 12, we, we like to lower that, okay? So about for this case, the most commonly wrong answer given is B. A lot of people pick less than 6 because that's what they're used to seeing in the office or used to seeing in the hospital. Um, lowering the uric acid to less than 6 does reduce the risk of having gout attacks, okay? It does. And it reduces it very effectively. So if you can lower the uric acid under 6, the chances of the patient flaring is less than 1%. Okay? But because this patient has tophaceous gout, he has she has evidence of tophi, the recommendation is to lower them under 5. It's a more aggressive target because lowering them less than 5 will help um, reduce tophaceous formation and will actually help um, uh, the healing process of reversing these tophi. Okay, so if you have somebody who has TOFI on their hands, lower their uric acid to under 5. And um, more often than not, they will have reversal of their TOFI as time goes on. Okay, Probenicid is also a drug that's used to lower uric acid, but it's not recommended in patients that have uh, chronic kidney disease. The lower the GFR, the less likely this is to be uh, effective, and a GFR less than 30 is a contraindication for this drug. Okay. Um, Occasionally, we do need to get surgeons involved to remove the TOFI if they're resistant to medical therapy, but more often than not, medical therapy is useful in these patients. Okay, I hope you found this helpful and uh, leave your comments uh, in the section below.